Hello everybody, Creepy Moment Muppet here. I can't even say my name. And today I will be unboxing the Jemmy Animated Beheaded Bride um, wedding version. I got this from the Gardening Center. I'm recording this on the same night um, as I unboxed Taurus. But anyway, let's get right into this. She's new in box, never taken out, so she's still sealed. Uh, nobody's gonna have to touch her with me. Uh, I have no idea what she, if she works, but she should. Uh, these seem to be pretty good quality, the bride. I haven't really seen any broken ones. But I, I've heard stories of people having to fix theirs. Anyway. And there's still tape to be cut. There we go. Move it out a little bit. Okay. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. This is completely detailed. It's like the one thing I don't like about it. Because the spirit version with the. But I do like this wedding version better. Now. Um. I'll take her out. Give me one moment. Alright, she's out of the box. Now I'll. Um. Uncollapse her. I guess that would be a good first strategy, but. Maybe I should put her somewhere else, because I don't think there's any. Um, places to plug her in over here. No, I don't believe there are. So, uh, let's find somewhere else to plug her in, I guess. Alright. Now, here she is. That's how it works, sir. She seems to already be, un um, collapsible. Like, I don't even... Sinking down, she keeps sinking down. No walking pins. Ah, sorry, this is very good. As I said, like a billion times. Okay. <sighs> Alright, I'll get her on collapse. It seems to be pinned in the ass. If I could pull this off, that would be very cool. I did get her on collapse, seemed to just be a little annoying. I, 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 I didn't expect to have to pull it up as hard as I had to. So, yeah. Something interesting I noticed is that she's just got a hole here. No button. Just like an empty hole. I could make a very sexual joke right now, but I'm mature enough to not. Okay. And I guess I'll cut the zip tie. Ah, I keep crunching everything. I, I, like, look at that. Now a new one, nice. Anyway, it hurts a lot. <laughs> anyway. Oh. I got myself bad. Oh, it's not even bleeding. I just, like, hit it back. I guess, like, it might have... Okay, scissoring? 
I don't know. It doesn't matter too much to me, though, because that thing knows the text. You press the button, nothing happens. What's wrong? There's the photo. I guess she was, that's, I mean, the original concept art. She was originally supposed to have longer hair. Still need help? Okay. Oh, they used to have a number. I wonder what happens if you call that now. after she takes 9 volt 1.5 now and she is a lot different looking in person than I would imagine her lips are very pink she's very creepy like android mannequin style looking and the hair is very much shorter than you'd think and before you ask, well, actually, I'm gonna want to figure this out right now. I don't think she has nipples. Yeah, I don't believe she does. <laughs> is there a sensor in here? It looks that way. Um, this is the short dress version, clearly. And then she's a charming guy from the base. What? Let's see what mode she's on. Set our activation toggle switch to our liking. Kidding. And there's only one gear control thing in here. Okay. And now, let's get horses. No, not here. horses. Train button. I don't think I have any. I don't. I don't have a lot of train buttons. So we'll put her on sensor. We'll see how she is. Ah, uh, dress is caught everywhere, goddammit. Uh, she has bad sound. Let's pull her here. Oh. Maybe the speaker's about to go bad? Thing a little crooked, but I have no issue with that now. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, she has her trying button there instead of in the base for some odd reason. Hello. Have you come from no, I've come to turn you off. I can't. Wherever the switch is. Oh, the motion sensor's in the neck, right there. She's much better than the spirit one. I can tell something's about to happen to her body turn, because that's kind of a loud mech. Anyway, yeah. Um, and I'll show the box now. She's awesome. She's ready for her perfect day, the beheaded bride. I really think they should have had it say, she's ready for her perfect day, dot dot dot, are you? question mark. Her voice will chill you to the bone. Her eyes blink like she's looking straight at you. Realistic motion. You can see that. That's for easy storage. Her eyes look like they moved at one point, like they were planned to. And they plastered the te price tag on here like five times for whatever reason. It's got a Innovation, hard again. Very innovative prop. Let's see. 
I don't know if I don't. It does. The lopsiding seems unnatural. It doesn't matter too much to me though. I'll play her again. Maybe I should, um, do something with a bit of foam in the mouth. Let's fix that up. These hands are, like, extremely realistic. Very odd how much detail they wanted to put in there. Let's get a good look. It's got, like, a weird petite little nose. These, oh, these are gear controlled. I thought they would be string controlled. Mouth is string controlled, I believe. Nothing going on here. Hello. Have you come from my way? I can't. I can't find my bouquet. Where am I? Well then, let's move her forward a little bit. She seems to be hitting the wall when she turns. Fix that up. And fix up the veil. I might try to replace her wig, make her hair longer. I don't really like the short hair much. Yeah, her hair's getting all messed up because I'm playing with the veil. I'll play her one more time for you. And I do find headless bodies extremely creepy. Um, so that's a plus of this. Anyway, I don't really have much to say about it. Other than that, she's awesome. Possibly one of my favorite things in my collection now. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.